I feel like I look like a genie. <laughs> Do your wish, my command. With my arms like this, I feel like I look like I'm about to do the Macarena. Dun da da dun da 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 the Macarena. Dun da da dun da da dun Macarena. Oh, Macarena. Ow! Hey guys, my name is Cameron, and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. Okay, so guys, today we are going to be talking about what is the most attractive thing about you right now. Okay, so if you want to know what it is that people find so spicy and hot about you, then you have come to the right place, my dear, because we are about to hype you up. Okay, cheerleader Cam is coming back for another video. <laughs> So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks today, okay? Hello friends, so here are your group picks today. So, for group number one, we have this amazing local Texas honey, okay? So, if you love honey, then this is the group for you, okay? So... For all my sweet folks out there, that is going to be group number one. And then for group number two, we have this yummy caramel dip, okay? I don't know about you, but I honestly prefer to dip my apples in peanut butter rather than caramel, but I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> so that's going to be group number two. And then for group number three, we have Mrs. Butterworth's sugar-free syrup, okay? So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in. And now I want you to let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about what it is that makes you so freaking attractive at this very moment, okay? And whenever you feel ready, I want you to open your eyes. And whichever pile your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the group pick for you today, okay? Now, as always, if you feel called to more than one um, beverage right here, <laughs> or is it beverage? Maybe it's like a dipping sauce, <laughs> but if you feel called to another one of these, then definitely check out those corresponding messages as well because, I mean, you could have some extra messages and everybody likes to hear about the extra messages, right? <laughs> and then I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today, friends, okay? Hello, group one. So if you chose this yummy, sticky, sweet honey, then hey, hello, friends. This is going to be your reading today, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here, and let's start taking a look at your cards, okay? So, Spirit, for group one, what is it about my group one folks that makes them so freaking attractive at this very moment? What is it that people just can't stop staring at? What is it that people just are finding to be so sexy about my amazing group one folks today, okay? Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. You are having some amazing cards coming through. Okay. I think, do I want to get one more? Mm, I feel like I do. Okay, let's get one more card. Spirit, what is it about group one that people are just loving about them? Guys, we literally have two other cards coming through. This is awesome. Okay, so... Taking a look at your cards, we have the Queen of Wands coming through. We also have the Ace of Cups. Then we have the Ten of Cups. We also have the Strength card. And we have the, I think this is the Eight of Rods coming through. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's the Eight of Rods. 
<laughs> I'm sorry guys, I am so silly. I should know by now that that's the eight of wands, but <laughs> your girl makes mistakes, you know. Like that song, the Hannah Montana song, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. <laughs> okay guys, I'm sorry. Let's get serious. So, first of all, just talking about the zodiac signs that are making an appearance with the strength card. This does talk about our amazing Leo energy. So, you could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. Or, this could honestly just be talking about, like, the vibe that you're giving off to people right now. We also have quite a bit of water energy coming through with the cups card. So, you could be a water sign. And we also have a bit of fire energy coming through. So we do have a pretty good, interesting mix of uh, astrology signs and just energy that is coming through. So definitely keep that in mind. But anyways, just talking about the messages that are coming through, I'm definitely getting the idea that with the Queen of Wands card coming through and also the Eight of Wands, I feel like you are literally a social butterfly, okay? I feel like you are somebody who you just come off as someone who is so charming. You come off as somebody who is so confident. And I feel like you are the type of person who everybody just wants to hang out with. Everybody wants to talk to you and just freaking get to know you better. I feel like honestly you are the type of person who could walk into a room filled with strangers but you are just like so fun, easygoing, and just talkative that you can turn all these strangers into your little like best friends within like the span of one conversation, right? I just feel like that is the type of person that you are. And if you are like sitting here and listening to me, like say that you are a social butterfly and you are saying like, no way Cameron, like that is not me. I am shy. I don't really talk to that many people. You know, this is how people see you, okay? And whether you realize it or not, you come off as somebody who is so confident. You come off as somebody who just always has the right lines and people just see you as somebody who is the life of the party. And that is just so awesome to see. I love that for you guys. And I am just honestly getting the idea that you are so freaking attractive. Like, not just when it comes to your personality. When it comes to the way that you look. Like, there is just something about you. Like, you are, like, so spicy and so hot. And people just think that you are the bee's knees and that is so amazing to see. With this strength card coming through, I'm also getting the idea that you are somebody who you come off as very, very powerful. I think that people see you as somebody who could literally take on the world itself and come out like still fighting and just still looking freaking sexy while doing it. You know, I'm honestly getting the idea. I'm thinking about that movie Sucker Punch you know all those girls that were like fighting on there and they were literally like going through so much and yet they still looked so hot like they were wearing like all those like really cute outfits you know a lot of leather and stuff and <laughs> they just were fighting against so many evil forces and yet they looked so good while doing it and I feel like that is like the energy that I'm getting from you guys I feel like people just see you as somebody who is such a fighter they see you as somebody who like once you set your mind on something whether it be like going after a certain job whether it be going after something within your schooling or even going after a person, people see you as somebody who is never going to give up. They see you as somebody who is never going to give in. And you are just so freaking attractive because of the fact that you have such a amazing will and such a strong determination. And I think that that is so beautiful to see. And then taking a look at the Ace of Cups, you know, this literally talks about having a new love. This talks about getting in a new relationship and all that jazz. And I feel like this is coming through to talk about how I feel like everyone wants to be in a relationship with you right now. I think that whether you realize it or not, you have so many secret admirers. You have so many people that want to offer you their cup because of the fact that, again, you are somebody who you are amazing to talk to. You always 
have such amazing com like such amazing stories to tell you're such a great conversationalist you are also somebody who is so strong so determined and you are just somebody who is freaking hot and people you know they just see you as somebody who is the full package and at the end of the day with the ten of cups coming through they see you as somebody who they want to not just date not just like have a fling with people see you as somebody who they would want to like spend the rest of their life with right because the ten of cups this literally talks about settling down having a family having a home sharing your life with somebody and there are just so many people that want to share their life with you and I just think that that is so beautiful to see and honestly with this uh cup energy coming through I'm honestly getting the idea that you are just somebody who you come off as very very caring I think that you are somebody who people genuinely feel like you love and care about others and I am honestly getting the idea that you come off as somebody who is a protector as well with this strength card coming through I feel like you are somebody who once you make friends once you like see somebody as being part of your tribe I think that you are somebody who you will literally go and travel to the ends of the earth to try to make sure that these people are safe, to try to make sure that these people are protected. You just care so much about the people who are in your life and you are just so loyal and I think that people see that and they find that to be so freaking attractive and so freaking beautiful and I just think that that is so freaking gorgeous to see. So yes guys, that is what I'm seeing about you so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at your oracle cards okay so spirit can we just get one card from this deck uh to represent what is it about group one that is so freaking beautiful guys i said one card but you know you are just so freaking amazing you are so freaking sexy right now that we have two cards coming through oh my gosh guys we literally have three cards coming through oh my gosh guys like <laughs> I cannot believe this. You are just like a freaking goddess or a god. You are so freaking attractive at this moment. There is not just one thing that people love about you. There is not just two things that people love about you. There are three things that people love and admire and find to be so sexy. And guys, we literally have the ace of emotion coming through. And this again talks about the ace of cups. Guys, like you, oh my gosh, everybody just wants to be in a relationship with you. Everybody wants to be your friend. Everybody wants to uh, just be somebody like they want to be a part of your life they want to be somebody who you see as being part of your tribe and i just think that that is so freaking beautiful to see that uh, that is so beautiful and i just think that you are somebody who you have so much love to give i just think that people see you as someone who will go out of your way to help anybody that is in need. I'm honestly getting the idea that not only do you care about your friends and family, but you care about strangers. I think that you are the type of person who you will go up to anybody that is in need, even people who you don't even know. You are the type of person who you will perform random acts of kindness, random acts of service, because you genuinely feel like everybody is good and that that nobody is bad people just have bad days and because of those bad days you know they become a little bit more pessimistic they become a little bit more like they have a bit of a chip on their shoulder right and I feel like you see these people and you see them for more than the attitude that they have at the moment and I feel like even if people are being rude to you you will always be more than kind to them and I think that this kindness is something that is so contagious and I feel like you make the people who are having the worst day have a more magical day right because of the fact that you are so loving and caring and like I said your kindness is contagious and that is why people love you so much that is why people find you to be so beautiful and so gorgeous and so attractive because it is like you are freaking Cupid right I mean you can see right here Cupid is coming through and that is just coming through to represent how like I said you have so much love to give and you give that love out in spades and that is so lovely lovely to see. We also have the Nine of Cups coming through. The Nine of Cups literally talks about 
a wish coming through or coming true excuse me this is the wish fulfillment card and i feel like you are everybody's wish come true i feel like you are everybody's dream person i feel like whether you realize it or not you have so many people that are fantasizing about you dreaming about you they just see you as somebody who would be the best person to have in their life and that is just so gorgeous and then with the three of action coming through this talks about somebody who is very very passionate this talks about somebody who has a dream and they're not just going to sit back and think about that dream they're going to go after that dream and actually put in physical steps to make their dream a reality and so I feel like you also come off as somebody who is very strong and you have that strength to go after any dream that you have on your heart and I think that people just see you as somebody who is extremely ambitious and as somebody who is going to be very very successful and so I feel like that is also something that people find to be very attractive about you you know there are just some people that sit back and talk about the things that they want to do and they don't do anything about it but you are not one of those people you are somebody who not only will you talk about what you want to accomplish but you will actually go after those things and I think that people love that about you so let's go ahead and get some extra cards please what is it about group one that people find to be so freaking attractive okay so guys we have gossip coming through and this is a really beautiful card to receive and we will get right back into that one but we also have God coming through as well guys literally this just took the words out of my mouth what was I saying earlier you are literally like a goddess or a god uh freaking made into flesh people like not only do they love you but they freaking worship you my dear okay you have so many people that just want to follow wherever you go and <laughs> I, it's like you have like these huge like it's like you have a cult following it's like you have so many fans you have a fan club my dear whether you realize it or not you have a fan club okay and again whenever you think about God this talks about somebody who is all good and this talks about somebody who is all knowing and so this also talks about somebody who is all powerful as well. So I feel like with that all good card or <laughs> with all good coming through, excuse me. I think that again, you are somebody who you are so kind. You are so good. You just love people so much. And in turn, so many people love you. Uh, talking about that all knowledgeable part to the equation I think that you are somebody who you come off as very very intelligent you come off as somebody who just knows so much and I think that people in turn love to talk to you and converse with you because I feel like you are just somebody who you have so many interesting tidbits and facts to add to conversations because of the fact that you are a very highly intelligent person so that is something else that people find to be very attractive and then with the last part of the equation the all-powerful you are just somebody who you are so freaking strong my dear and that strength is just something that people find to be so magical and so powerful and I feel like this is also just talking about how your presence is powerful like I said whenever you walk into a room you are instantly noticed you are instantly seen and I think that people instantly talk about you I feel like whenever you leave the room all anybody can talk about is how gorgeous you are how incredible you are how intelligent and powerful and just every other good word under the sun you are right because people just have nothing but good things to say about you and i think that that is really beautiful to see and what's really gorgeous about this is that it says right here for the light attributes awakens consideration for the feelings of others honoring trust and like i was saying guys you just care so much about people you love people so much and i feel like if you ever hear anybody gossiping or saying anything negative about other people you are somebody who you are quick to defend others and i 
think that this is also talking about how if anybody were to try to talk bad about your family members, if anybody were to try to talk bad about your friends, about the people who are part of your tribe, you will literally go, like I said, to the ends of the earth to defend, to protect these people. You are so loyal. And I'm also just getting the idea, like I was saying, you just love people so much. And I think that even if these people are not a part of your tribe, if you hear anybody saying anything negative about others, you will be the first person to step in and say that that is wrong and that they shouldn't be doing that, right? They, people shouldn't be treating others in a cruel manner. And I just think that people love that about you. It's almost like I'm getting like Jon Snow vibes from you. Like you are just such an honorable person. You are so gallant and you honestly come off as like a knight in shining armor. And I just think that you are somebody who you will protect anybody. And I think that people love that about you. They just find that to be so beautiful and epic and charming and attractive. And that is just so awesome to see. Now for the final cards, we have Expulsion coming through. We have Intuition. And then we have Soothe. So I am getting the idea that with the Expulsion card, I feel like you are somebody who, you are just a light. Like, made into skin. I think that you are just such a kind and good person. And I think that you help people whenever they are going through a harder time. You help them clear off that negative energy. Clear off those darker thoughts or just vibes that you are currently feeling and or that others are currently feeling excuse me um and I feel like you just come off as somebody who uh, just makes other people so happy and I think that like I said you just soothe others you help people feel so much more like better about themselves you help people feel so much more positive about where they are in their life and about where it is that they are going and your love your kindness I've said it so many times but it is so contagious and I think that even if somebody was having the worst day imaginable once you step into the picture once you talk to them I think that you can help them clear away any type of negative energy that they were feeling and you help them instantly become so much more positive and excited and happy about life and I think that that is so beautiful people love that about you people find that to be so freaking attractive and then at the end of the day with the intuition card coming through I feel like this is coming through to talk about how you have this uncanny ability at reading other people I think because you are such an empath you can just tell what what it is that people are feeling at the moment and I think that even if somebody is trying to hide the fact that they are upset even if people are trying to not let others realize that they're having a bad day I think that you are somebody who you can instantly spot those people and see that these people are having a harder time and I think you being the amazing and good person that you are you always go out of your way to talk to these people and make sure that they feel better about about what it is that is bringing them down and I think that people love and appreciate that about you so much and guys I mean people just love you people love you so much and I just think that that is so beautiful to see so yes guys that is what I'm seeing for you today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of terror tube again sometime okay so I love you all so much and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day today, okay? Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group two. So if you chose this caramel dip, then hey, hello, friends. This is going to be your reading today, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And let's take a look at your tarot cards today, okay? So spirit for group two. What is it about them that is so freaking attractive at this moment? What is it that people, you know, just can't stop looking at, okay? What is it about group two that people are just loving at this moment, okay? All right, let's see what wants to come through. Wow, guys. Okay, I think I'm trying to think if I want any extra cards. Okay. 
Okay, that's very interesting. <sighs> okay, guys. So I think I know what is going on. Okay, so first of all, we have the Knight of Wands coming through. We also have the Nine of Swords. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Five of Swords coming through as well, okay? And then for the back of the deck energy, we also have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So just taking a look at the astrology signs that are coming through, we have a lot of air energy coming through, and we also have a lot of fire energy coming through as well. So with the Knight of Wands, with that fire energy, you could be a fire sign. So I am talking about our lovely Aries, Leos, Sagittariuses. For that air energy, we also have uh, Gemini, Libras, and Geminis. So you could be one of those signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus, or this could simply just be representing like the overall like vibes that you are giving off to other people at this moment. So guys, first of all, we were talking about what it is that people find to be so freaking attractive about you at this moment. And we literally have the Knight of Wands coming through to add a bit of spice to this reading. Okay, so guys, whenever I see the Knight of Wands, this makes me think about Matthew McConaughey and like every romantic comedy that he's been in. Because you know how Matthew McConaughey, he is always like that sexy, like bad boy. And he is somebody who is just so witty and so charming wherever he goes like he just has so many ladies that are just so into him and so attracted to him and I'm honestly getting that vibe from you I feel like you are somebody who you come off as someone who is extremely witty and charming I think that you are somebody who you just know exactly what to say at the right moment and I feel like you just make everybody like just swoon over you like whenever you walk into a room people instantly look at you and you are just swoon worthy baby and I think that that is so awesome and whether you realize it or not you come off as somebody who's a bit like dangerous okay and you could be somebody who you're watching this and you're like Cameron I don't know what you're talking about like I'm the biggest goody two-shoes ever I don't even like to jaywalk right <laughs> well this is about how other people see you okay and I feel like people see you as somebody who is a risk taker they see you as somebody who is not afraid to get your hands dirty and to do things that other people are too afraid to do okay and I'm honestly getting the idea that in the way that I say you're dangerous I think that you're dangerous in the way that you are willing to do things that like I was saying people see as dangerous or people are so afraid to do okay and I think that with the other cards coming through we literally have the nine of swords card coming through and if you look at this this shows somebody who is so stuck this represents somebody who is so afraid about the future that they are not even willing to take the steps that are necessary to step into this unknown future because they are too scared to even open this door on this new possibility because they are afraid about things not working out. They are afraid about failure and they are afraid about just, you know, not succeeding. And I feel like where the thing that I'm really getting from you guys is that I feel like at this moment you are pursuing a new job or a new financial endeavor you could be deciding to go to school or you could even be deciding to start your own business right and starting your own business that is something that is extremely risky that is something that you know you are either going to succeed in or you're going to fail at and so there are so many people that are afraid to start these new businesses businesses. So for some of you guys, you could be deciding to start a new business and people, they are looking at you and they are seeing you as somebody who is such a big risk taker and they are just loving that about you and they find that to be so sexy. For others of you, since we do get the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is somebody who is all about passion. They pursue things that make them happy and that bring them joy. So you could be deciding to go after something that is a really big dream of yours. For some of you guys, you could be deciding that you want to pursue a career in the entertainment field or the inter entertainment industry. Maybe you are deciding that you want to pursue mu a music career or maybe you want to try to become an actor or something like that. But I feel like you 
are deciding at this very moment to go after something that so many people have dreamt about doing, but they are too afraid to actually go after these things because they are afraid of failure. They are afraid of not succeeding, but you are somebody who you are not going to let your fear of the unknown hold you back. In fact, I feel like you are somebody who you are excited to go after these things and to step into the unknown. It is something that exhilarates you. And I think that that in turn exhilarates other people. And I just think that people feel just so cool to be around you because of the fact that you are doing things that people only talk about doing, that people only dream about doing. And people just find that to be so freaking sexy. And I'm honestly getting the idea with the Will of Fortune card coming through, I feel as though you are somebody who you help people feel more motivated. You help people feel more positive about themselves and about their future because of the fact that the Wheel of Fortune, this literally talks about turning the wheel on your fortune, okay? So this talks about going from being in a very bad environment or feeling very negative and unhappy to suddenly feeling more excited and more happy and feeling more positive. And so I'm getting the idea that I feel like your passion, your excitement, and your just never give up attitude, I think that that is something that is extremely contagious. And I think that whenever you are around people, you are somebody who you are just such a hype man yourself. I think that you just make other people feel invincible. You make other people feel like they can do absolutely anything that they set their mind on. And I just think that you are a very inspirational person. And I think that people love that about you. And they just love to be around you because of the fact that you are just such an amazing person. You're such a powerful person. And I think that your power, like I said, it's contagious. And when people are around you, they feel like they can do anything. And people just find that to be so attractive about you. They find that to be so beautiful and incredible and amazing. And then going off of that same energy with the, um, I feel like this, I think this is the Five of Swords, right? Yeah, this is the Five of Swords. With the Five of Swords coming through, this literally talks about having a victim mentality. This talks about feeling like you can't do anything. This talks about feeling very negative about yourself. And I just, think that you are somebody who you look at people and you see them as they are and I think that you see everybody as somebody who can achieve absolutely anything that they set their mind on. And I think that you are also able to see the beauty in everyone. And I think that you are the type of person who, like I said, you are so charming. You always just know exactly what to say. And I feel like whenever you see people, you are just somebody who... Uh, you go above and beyond to flatter others. I feel like you are a bit flirty and I think that you just flirt with everyone honestly <laughs> and I think that no matter who it is that you are around you will tell them how beautiful they are, how awesome they are and I think that people just love that about you. They just they feel like they can do anything whenever they are around you. They feel like they can be anybody whenever they are around you and they just feel like they are so beautiful when they are in your presence and I think that that is so sweet to see I just I love that for you guys you are just like I said the ultimate hype man and people love that about you they think that that is so sexy so let's go ahead and get one more card spirit can we get one more card please to talk about what it is that people find to be so sexy about them. And did I say one more card? We do have some extra cards that we're going to be pulling, but I just want one card from this deck. So Spirit, can we get one card, please, about group two? Yeah, guys, literally, we have the helper of thought coming through, okay? So it says right here, I do want to go ahead and read it for you guys because I feel like this writer does a really good job at explaining these cards. So it says for the helper of thought, your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best you can. You know will meet or are someone with a very quick mind 
friend who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. So yes, guys, literally what was I saying? You are just somebody who once you set your sights on something, you will do anything to achieve that thing. And you are just so confident and bold. I feel like even if the whole world was against you, even if you had so many people telling you that you can never achieve these things that you are trying to achieve, I think that it wouldn't matter because you believe in yourself and that is all that you need. And I think that that is so beautiful to see and people see that about you and they love it. And I feel like this also is just talking about how, like I said, I think that you help make other people feel like they can do anything as well. You help other people turn their dreams into a reality. And I just think that for a lot of you guys, if you ever thought about wanting to become like a motivational speaker or something, I definitely think that that would be a really good job for you. Um, you are just somebody who uh, you are a great communicator you are such a positive force of good and I think that you can just you make people feel like they can do anything and I know I'm saying that so much but that is just the main thing that I feel like people love about you that is the main thing that makes you so freaking attractive now for the other cards that we have coming through we have king and we also have Rebel. So yes, guys, literally, like you are just somebody who, uh, you are so different from everybody else. You are somebody who, uh, you are not afraid to do things that people are too afraid to do. You're not afraid to express yourself in uh, different ways. You are not afraid to uh, just live the life that you want to live. And I am getting the idea that for some of you guys, you could have a very unique style about you. You could like to dress very different from what is like socially acceptable or what is like the social norms, right? You are just somebody who you have a very interesting way of dressing and I think that that is definitely something that stands out about you. That is something that people really like about you and they think that that is very sexy to see. Um, with the king card coming through, this is just talking about again that you are a leader. I feel like wherever you go, people follow and I just feel like you are somebody who you help lead other people into the unknown. You help people, again, feel like they can achieve anything, accomplish anything, and you just give people that inner strength to go after anything that they want to go after. And I think that that is so freaking beautiful to see. And then we have ferocity coming through and protection. With that ferocity card, again, you are just somebody who you are so passionate. You are a force to be reckoned with. And I just feel like you are very, very fiery. I think that you just have such a big personality and people love that about you. People love to hang out with you and to do things with you because you are just so fun to be around and people think that that is so attractive with the protection card coming through. Again, I mean, guys, this is like the fifth time that I'm saying this, but you just make people feel like they are invincible. You make people feel like they can do anything and guys just people love that about you people are so attracted to you and I'm honestly getting the idea that you are like the Terminator like I think that you know the Terminator he is a force to be reckoned with right the Terminator is somebody who once he sets his mind on something like he is going to achieve it and you are like that. You are like the Terminator, okay? And people are just so attracted to you. They're attracted to your confidence. They are attracted to your bold attitude. They are attracted to the things that you say, to your witty banter, and to your flirtatious demeanor. And I just think that you make people feel like they are on top of the world and people just love you and they think that you are the bee's knees okay so yes guys that is what i'm seeing about you today i hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because i post new videos every monday and friday and i would love to have you stop by this side of terror tube again sometime okay so i love you all so much and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day today okay Mwah. bye guys hello group three so if you chose this amazing thick looking bottle of sugar-free syrup then hey hello friends
friends, this is going to be your reading today. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here and let's take a look at your cards. Okay. So spirit for group three, what is it about my sexy folks that people are finding to be so attractive and hot and spicy about them right now at this current moment. Okay, Spirit, no reversals. What is it that people find to be so attractive about them right now, Spirit? What is it about group three that people are freaking loving? Oh my goodness, guys. We are getting such fabulous cards coming through. I'm so excited for you guys. So let's go ahead and get one more card if it wants to come out. Spirit for group three, what is it about my group three folks that people are loving? Yes, okay guys, this is making so much sense, okay? Let's take a look at the back of the deck energy. Wow, guys, we have the King of Pentacles coming through. We love this man, okay? So, first of all, just taking a look at the uh, astrology signs that are coming through, we do have the Queen of Cups, and that does talk about our lovely, like, water signs. So, you could be a water sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus, and I am talking about our lovely Pisces, Cancers, Scorpios, okay? We do have a bit of... Uh, earth energy coming through. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had a bit of a brain fart, but um, I am talking about our lovely Capricorns, our uh, Tauruses, our Virgos, okay, you could be one of those signs, and yeah guys, that is pretty much what I'm seeing with the cards so far far in regards to your zodiac signs but anyways just actually talking about what message is coming through so we ask the question what is so attractive about you right now first of all i feel like you are somebody who uh, you just seem like you are going to accomplish so much stuff okay because we literally have the ten of pentacles card coming through and we have the king of pentacles pentacles. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. But for the Ten of Pentacles, this talks about building a life and being very wealthy. This talks about having a family, having so many friends, and having like like animals as well and this talks about being able to have the amount of wealth the amount of success that is necessary to not only provide a good life for these people but to provide an amazing life right and so I'm getting the idea that you are somebody who people see as being very very successful they see you as somebody who is going to accomplish so many amazing things within your career within your schooling within any type of financial endeavor that you decide to pursue and if you are watching this right now and you are saying that you know I'm literally working at Pizza Hut right now or I'm working at the grocery store I don't know what you are talking about you know I don't see myself as being successful I think that other people see you as somebody who you are going to be very successful people see you as somebody who is an extremely hard worker they see you as somebody who is going to accomplish so much within your life and you may be working at Pizza Hut right now but I feel like they see you as somebody who you have the ability to become like a franchise owner of Pizza Hut right they see you as somebody who slowly but surely you are going to be able to make your way up that career ladder and even if you're working at the grocery store right now they see you as somebody who is eventually going to be able to be like the head of the grocery store maybe you you are somebody who you have like manager like material right and on top of that people just see you as somebody who you are going to make a way where there is no way people just see you as someone who is a freaking boss and that boss energy cannot be ignored right and that is so incredible to see people love that about you they find that to be so freaking sexy and I just think that again like people see you as somebody who is a leader and I feel like people like 
they will follow your orders and your advice before they follow any type of like authority figures right because you are just somebody who you seem like you have such an amazing head on your shoulders you seem like somebody who operates re really well under stress and under like harder times and so i feel like people always come to you and they naturally look up to you and they naturally seek out your advice and so I feel like people really love that about you they see you as a rock during harder times they feel like they can rely on you and that ability to rely on you is something that people find to be so freaking attractive with the world card this again just talks about success this talks about being able to be very successful right so again they see you as somebody who you are just going to achieve so much within your life and that is just so awesome with the queen of cups coming through this talks about somebody who excuse me guys this talks about somebody who is extremely caring this talks about somebody who is extremely nurturing and who just wants to be there for everybody so again i feel like you just come off as somebody who wants to help everyone and i do feel like that is another reason as to why people look up to you and come to you for your advice because i feel like you just come off as somebody who is not going to judge others you come off as somebody who is just able to look at everybody faults and all and see them as somebody who is able to achieve so much you can just see the best in others and you help people see the best in themselves and I just think that that in itself is so incredible I just think that you help people feel like they are amazing and incredible and I think that in turn people see you as somebody who is amazing and incredible and people are just so inspired by you and they just think that you are so beautiful like it's it's like it's not even like what like on the outside it doesn't even matter because in the inside your soul is so precious and so rare and just so beautiful and people see you as somebody who is beautiful from the inside and out and i just think that 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 is so lovely to see right and then with the four of swords coming through you know this talks about somebody who is like taking a rest taking a break and i feel like you are somebody who you are just very easy going i feel like you have this very soft and calming presence about you i feel like for a lot of you guys you are somebody who is extremely soft spoken but i feel like even though you are very soft even though you are kind of quiet and maybe even on the shyer side that does not mean that you are any less than a leader i think that you are somebody who whenever you do talk people listen to you i think that you are somebody who you have so many extremely like wise things to tell people and i just feel like even if you are again on the shire side I feel like people still see you as somebody who is a mover and a shaker. People still see you as somebody who is so freaking strong. And your strength comes from your softness. And it is just something that cannot be ignored. Wherever you go, people see you as a rock. People see you as a leader. And I just think that people look up to you so much. And they find that quiet strength that you have to be so sexy and so hot and so fierce and spicy and I just love that for you guys so oh my gosh guys we literally have the wheel of fortune coming through yes guys literally the wheel of fortune okay this talks about being in a harder like moment within your life this talks about experiencing darker times but this talks about fine like being able to uh, turn the wheel on those darker moments so that you can in turn have brighter moments and have amazing things happen to you right and have like amazing opportunities be able to open up for you so again i feel like people see you as somebody who is going to make the most of everything that you experience people see you as somebody who is going to be very successful they see you as somebody who is going to achieve so much and even if you 
you are struggling right now with your finances, with your relationships, or whatever it is that you could be experiencing right now, people see you as somebody who is eventually going to succeed so much. You are going to get out on top. And I'm honestly getting the idea that people also see you as somebody who is an incredible manifester as well. People just think that you are eventually going to have such an incredible life, such a successful future. And people just love that about you. They just find that ability to you know, turn any negative that you have been dealt into a positive to be so sexy and so beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what else wants to come through, okay? Spirit, for group three, what is it about them that people find to be so attractive, Spirit, for group three? Okay, I feel like this card wanted to come through, and let's just get one more card. Spirit, can we get one more card? Perfect. Okay, guys. So, we have the Trickster card coming through. And we also have Messiah. Oh, my gosh, guys. So, this says, Serving Humanity with Humility. Okay, so, guys. I think that people see you as somebody who is extremely humble and modest. And I feel like even if you were to become extremely successful or wealthy, I think that you are somebody who you are not going to let that get to your head. You are somebody who you will always remember where you came from and where you began. And you will not forget your roots, right? And so I feel like people really look up to the fact that Again, even if you become extremely, extremely successful and wealthy, which I do think that you will become those things, they see you as somebody who will always be so humble, so modest, and I think that that is something that people find to be so extremely attractive. People find that to be so sexy. And then with the trickster card coming through, this just makes me think about how you are like a magician, okay? I feel like you are somebody who you are able to make any type of magic happen. I think that no matter where you are at your life right now, even if you are being dealt with the short end of the stick, people see you as somebody who eventually you will manifest the life of your dreams. You are going to just turn so many things that were supposed to be against you for you, right? And people just find that ability to be able to create magic wherever you go, to be so freaking attractive and to be so freaking beautiful and just incredible, right? So let's go ahead and get some extra cards. I think I do want to get one more card. Spirit, one more card. Okay, guys. Wow, look at this. We literally have prediction coming through. We have intrusion. And then we have death. Okay, so... First of all, with the intrusion and death card coming through, I really am getting the idea. I feel like you, either in your past or currently right now in your present, you have been going through a really hard time of it. I think that you have been experiencing a lot of negative things in your life, but I feel like you are somebody who... I see you as someone who is very positive considering the circumstances. I think that you are somebody who, uh, even if you are going through the worst things imaginable, you are still able to look at where you are at and you are able to find the magic within these harder times. You are somebody who, it's like you just wear these rose-colored glasses. You can always see the best in everything that you are going through. You can always see the best in the future as well and I think that that is what makes you such an incredible manifester because I think that you are literally somebody who you are always talking about how you are going to be successful and you are talking about how you always talk about how other people are going to be successful as well. And I think that you are just somebody who you can literally speak into existence the life that you want to have and the life that you want to live in the future. And I think that people just see that beautiful positivity that you have and that a beautiful 
that beautiful will that you have to succeed and to be successful and people are just so attracted to that and I'm honestly just getting the idea that you speak life into other people as well I think that you are always telling people that they are so much more than they could ever imagine you are always telling others that they are going to be able to achieve absolutely anything that they set their mind on and that the sky is the limit and I think that people just feel like they can do anything whenever they are around you. They feel like they can achieve anything. And you just make people feel so positive. And people just are so addicted to the things that you have to say. They are so addicted to the advice that you give. They are so addicted to just being around you because you make people feel like the impossible is possible. And that is just something that people love about you. That is something that people find to be so attractive about you and I just feel like you are somebody who you are a mover and shaker baby you can make a way where there is no way and people see that people love that people find that to be so freaking sexy and yes guys that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday, and I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day today, friends, okay? Mwah. Bye, guys.